everyone, Kuri here with your weekly oracle card reading. This reading is for June 11th to June 17th. And today I'm going to be using a deck that I haven't used with you guys yet, the Romance Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Um, I really have been feeling love in the air, and not just like romantic love. These cards are, are really great for all aspects of love, friendship, relationships, yourself, um, self-worth, you know, it really can be for all aspects of our lives, not just relationship-wise. Um, but I wanted to use these because the basis of all human nature, I believe, is love. No matter who you are, where you are, where you come from, um, or what you've done in your life, Everyone does have a love for something. Um, so I wanted to use the Romance Angel cards to kind of bring out some of the messages that the little cherubs have for us this week. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shuffle my deck. And I'm going to draw three cards. The first card for Monday and Tuesday. The second card for Wednesday and Thursday. And then the final card for the weekend being Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. I think that's good. Okay, so this will be Monday and Tuesday. Oops. Falling over. This will be for Wednesday and Thursday. And then this will be for the weekend. Okay, so Monday and Tuesday, the little cherubs say, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So for Monday and Tuesday, really pay attention to your gut feeling. If you don't feel that it's right, then don't go forward with it. And they're telling me right away, this, this kind of has to do with career. So with your work situations, don't go through things if you feel that they're not accurate if they don't sit well with you because those are the signs that are saying that it's not a good idea um, if you're in a relationship then start to pay attention to the signs that you know are indicating caution to you so again in all aspects of our lives the angels are saying just to pay attention to the the flags those red flags that are telling us to be more cautious about the situation now for Wednesday and Thursday, the angels say, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. So this is about healing old wounds that you might have. Um, the first thing that the angels are telling me is this is about forgiving people who have done you wrong, who have done you harm. I'm not condoling any actions that were taken against you in a violent way, um, whether it be physical or emotional and mental, but it's time to let go of that person to having control over you. So right now, I want you to just close your eyes and Think of one person that has done you wrong and the first name that comes to your mind. I want you to write down on a piece of paper and then afterwards I want you to say, I forgive you and I release you. And then throw the paper away or burn the paper or just release that person from having control over you. Because if, that, if they, they were the first person to come to mind, it means that they're still in your mind, they're still in your energy, they're still in your soul, and it's time to release that. And as we release and forgive, that's when we learn to accept who we are and accept who they are and to just release them and move on because we really can't heal if we don't forgive, if we don't release that person or if we don't release that issue or situation. So. Monday, I'm sorry, for Wednesday and Thursday, anyone who does you wrong or any situation that presents itself that hurts you, just release it up to God. So, you know, let go and let God take care of it. But just ask for um, 
I don't want to say forgiveness, but ask, ask to be able to forgive them and to release them. And again, by forgive, forgiving them doesn't mean that you're, you're condoling anything that they did. But you're just saying that you have no more power over me. So release it and then love can fill that hole, that gap. Because right now it's filled with tension, it's filled with fear, it's filled with hurt, it's filled with sorrow, and we don't need that in our life right now. You don't want that in your life right now. You want to be full of love, you want to be full of light, and you want to heal. So release that tension that is, is there, and I swear to you that that void will be filled with love. And then finally, for the weekends... For the weekend, the angels say, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So right now, things are, are worth waiting for and not to be forced. You don't want to force any relationships. You don't want to force any friendships. You don't want to force any career remove. Uh, uh, career moves um, let things happen in a natural course and you know things will work out the way they're supposed to and it, it's going to be worth the wait it's almost like well are you do you want to settle for less or do you want to wait a little longer and get the full benefit of whatever is coming to you so don't force anything this weekend just let things come and go and linger and Take it one step at a time and just, you know, wait for that final outcome because the final outcome is going to be wonderful. And again, it doesn't just revolve around love life. It revolves around all of the divine time in, in your life in every aspect. So don't force things this weekend. Relax. Take it easy. Let the energy flow and the worth waiting for will definitely come. And then when it does come, you will say, well, that was really worth waiting for. So that is the messages for this week. I hope everybody has a wonderful week. I hope everybody learns to pay attention to any of those red flags that are cautioning you, cautioning you about different decisions and situations. And that you're able to forgive at least one person this week of someone who has done you wrong or a situation that hasn't presented itself or a situation that is unfavorable that has presented itself this week. Just forgive and forget and release. And then just remember that, you know, there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but don't rush to get there. Take your time because if you don't take your time and you rush, you miss out a lot in life. It's almost like um, one of the... I believe it was a quote from Louise Hay who had said, I never say I can't wait to see you or I can't wait for this to happen because by saying you can't wait means that nothing else in between the time where you are now until the time where you are waiting for something, that nothing else good will come of it. So always say, I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to meeting you. I'm looking forward to this workshop. I'm looking forward to a new job and so and so forth because you don't want to rush things because if you rush, like I said, you miss out on the small, important, wonderful, precious details of life. So I will see you all next week. I send you lots of love, lots of light. Namaste.